consumers need a lot of time, uh, which we didn't really have at the start to give them. What is one thing that, that you learned in all this that, that is new for you? B2C is very new to us and it was a real learning curve. Uh, we've, we initially started just with, with our core team, Mick, Tabitha and myself, and then we brought more and more people on. And the, the, uh, Consumers need a lot of time, uh, which we didn't really have at the start to give them. So we've now put on, we now have three people actually. One's looking after social media, one's looking after email and phones, and, and another one is, is also looking after some emails and, and other social media. But it's a full-time job. And for us, uh, that took a little bit to get to get going. Uh, but the key for uh, the key to it is honesty and being open. Uh, so we've made mistakes, and I'm very quick to go onto social media and email out the people that have purchased and tell them we've made a mistake. Uh, where where our deliveries are going to be slower this week, or something didn't work properly. So we here's a fix, and we'll send out a piece that'll fix that. So it, it, we're very open and honest with, with, uh, with the customers. This is such a profound message of hope that you are giving us here because so many out there, they are not reacting as fast, as adaptive, as responsive as you are. And they are literally, uh, they are breaking down. They, are, they will not be there in a couple of months. So there is a ton of event companies of uh, gastronomy uh, companies, hotels, um, automotive companies, uh, and, 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 and many, many others that are struggling right now. So uh, if you are listening to this or watching it, this on, on YouTube and you have friends or colleagues or CEOs who are in this situation and need that little confidence and that little inspiration please share this video with them if if it can help them i will certainly do and um and now uh let's look at the future because you are such a sprinter you are not stopping there of course now you see <laughs> that people are not working from home anymore they're starting going back to the office but the office is not ready so how, what's right. next in your what's next in your world so we, we've, we have started, like you mentioned, we've already pivoted again uh, to making return to work uh, furniture and also screens and sanitizer stations. And uh, we've, we've followed the government's uh, legislation they've put into place for uh, COVID safe workspaces. And very quickly again, we've come up with uh, some, some great products for that. And we've now kitted out whole office buildings with temporary screens between desks and also uh, quite you know, good looking screens and things like that and desks that can be far enough apart and uh, these sanitizer stations and so we've really changed again to do that so that's that's one part of what we've done the other thing we're focusing more on is the manufacturing side of the business so uh, there's a real focus come back now to Australian manufacturing and shopping local, as I'm sure it has in other countries. Really, uh, countries starting to become more self-sufficient. Uh, the country's becoming more self-sufficient and uh, shopping local and supporting local industry. That's becoming very strong here in Australia. And for us, we're focusing on that and we're actually now out actively trying to find other designers who would like us to manufacture local where in the past they may have manufactured in Asia or, or, the, uh, or the US. Uh, we, and we've signed up a couple already. So the manufacturing part of the business is going to become bigger and bigger. And that's where we're really pushing. Man, this is so beautiful and so inspiring. So I, I was talking about your example of how you pivoted in the last weeks on, 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 on many stages that, that I had the honor to talk I, as an example. <laughs> And now that I know you, now I have even more uh, inspiration. <laughs> and uh, I, I would love to, to, to bring this to our current clients who are hundreds of, of CEOs like you. 
who are struggling and doing because this is such an, an, an inspiration how, how you do it and with this positivity and energy standing up again and, uh, and keeping, keep, keeping rolling. We always say, hey, keep rolling. And you are the perfect yeah. example of somebody who keeps rolling. So where can nice. people... And, and I, I will also... Uh, I would like to promote your community because it's such a, a positive environment where somebody can say, hey, I need this. And other people say, I, okay, mm. I'm, I'm going to build it. This is a wonderful example of how to build a, not just a business, but relations to the people you seek to serve. Because it's very clear that you seek to serve these people. It's very clear mm. what you stand for. And the products, they can change every couple of weeks. This is something I have been teaching for 17 years in MBAs. I always told, you know, let's take Red Bull. It's just sugar and, 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 and ugly stuff in water. Nobody needs it. <laughs> they could change. Nobody needs it. Uh, but they stand yeah. for something. They stand for something. They stand for athleticism, for an adventurous life. So uh, mm. when, you, when you put that logo on, on, on your helmet and you, you commute to work, you, you, you feel like you're an athlete. That's what they stand mm. for, for an adventurous lifestyle. But you could take the product and just switch it. You take this sugar yeah. water, you switch it with a bike, they will sell the bike. You switch the bike with the perfume, they will sell the perfume because that's what they stand for. And the people they seek to serve, mm. they will like it and they will take it. And this is exactly what you did. You built now a movement and a brand that serves this movement. You can change the products every week. The products are not mm. your main asset. Your main asset is the movement, your audience. And your superpower is that you really care and you really serve them and you really deliver and they can rely on you. So in three weeks, you will do something completely different, but you will still have these people mm. who will buy it. And if you don't post, they will miss it. And this is yeah. how you build a healthy business. Mm. It's, it's very true. We've now got clients that customers that have returned in 10 weeks only seven and eight times and, and they're posting saying everything you build, we want in our house. It's, it's like they're collecting the, the, the set. <laughs> you know, it's, exactly. It's quite amazing. Exactly. Yeah. Because it's what you stand for. It's not what you build. It's what mm. you stand for. And, and you're truly mm. serving from a good place, from a good intention and, uh, and people can rely on you. So uh, let's help people find this community. Where, where can they find? Is it a Facebook group? or What is it? Where, where can they go? Facebook's, to? Facebook is the, Facebook's the best place. We're on Facebook and all the normals, Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn. But on Facebook, Australia, so Stage Kings Australia on Facebook, that is where the majority of, the, of, of our interactions happen. And that's where people are, are, are commenting. You know, we, we post one thing and we have hundreds of comments of what people want and, and we work through that. So, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. I will put this video also in the Sprint University where our accelerators are and where people are accelerating their business because this is such an inspiration. Thank you so much, Jeremy. For Thank you so much for having me. For sharing your journey, your truth, your insights with the whole community of sprinters. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye bye. The highest calling right now is to be of service. So the best sales is to not sell at all, but instead to serve the people you care about. Selling is telling. So who do you serve? And how do you serve them? The quality of this experience makes the difference. If you want our experts to go over your current sales funnel and really dive into the experience and the needs of your clients at each conversion point and make it a wow experience, then you are in luck because we have an exercise for you. Our 15 minute sales audit and one-on-one -on -one coaching with a world-class sprint coach. Fill out a couple of questions about your sales funnel and you will have clarity. In your personalized coaching session, you will get clarity on your number one bottleneck, three ideas on how to accelerate your growth, 
and a tangible sales map on how to double your conversions. Go to strategysprints.com sales and do our 15-minute free sales audit today.